Welcome to Starkville, Mississippi, Davis Wade Stadium, where they've got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. What a game, and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Oklahoma Sooners taking on another SEC rival, the Mississippi State. And there aren't many better than this guy. No, and just big bodies that you can miss a little bit high, and it really doesn't matter, but over the middle. The expressway is wide open. The 30, running inside the 20. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And once he got loose, it was all over. And these offensive coordinators tell you they want to start fast and they want to establish the run game. That is exactly what you did. First drive, you hand the football off, making the big explosive run, setting the tone for this football game. From the gun, wants to pass. It's complete to the right. They can't just drop back and throw it every single play. Nothing going on that last run. They're going to have to find another way to get it going and handing the ball. They finally get the play, and now the task is to try to turn it around. Well, and a lot of times it requires shifting their goals, and this is not happening. Not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up. Back to pass, it's Shaw. Throws to the wideout. That is Jason. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. Tackle is made after the first down. There's always been a lot of flash and sizzle to the Oklahoma offense, but it's built on being tough. Yeah, and especially the great teams. The great teams that you think about. Looking for the end zone. And that pass intercepted. He'll try to take it back. He's out of bounds. Wide out in motion. Out of the gun. The running back has it. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Here's the handoff. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, just nothing doing on that last run. And they knew coming into this one they were going to be challenged, right? This is one of the best defenses in all of college football. For them to have any shot, they're going to have to do a little. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. You know, nowadays, so many people go for it on fourth down, so maybe it causes people to be more aggressive on third down. You ain't going for it now. Third and long, and I bring the blitz, and I get home, no fourth down for you. Their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Fires into traffic, picked off. Taking it the other way. Touchdown, Mississippi State. I in my life, but yes, I do, because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. you got to go out and not try to win. Snap from the gun on third down. And the pass is incomplete, and that's how the first quarter comes to a close. Absolutely nothing settled. Deadlocked after one period of play as we have a look at the stats. That first quarter set the standard, and we hope we get a lot more of that here in the second. Around midfield, go for it. This isn't 1930 football. Try to get the first down. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Moves away as he feels pressure. And he's down out of the backfield, but the hit forced the incompletion. Fires to the wideout. Complete to the left. 
He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The Sooners come to the line with a new set of downs. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Smashes ahead. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This offense has a lot of different ways they can attack you, and you're going to see the entire playbook at work in this game. Throwing it, running it, and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter. Great job. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown sooner. Play this year, and things haven't necessarily gone their way. They've had to fight a ton of adversity, but David, they believe they have the leadership in the locker room to turn it around, but it's got to start today. Yeah, one at a time. Like, we got to start today. We got to find something. We got to find what we're really good at, what we can hang our hat on, so we can start to build some more. game and haven't created a lot of lanes to run the football but you needed it you needed that first down you needed to get the sticks moving you need to run some clocks so good job by the offense finding what they're supposed to get the first down mississippi state really efficient on offense right now wide receiver now comes in motion quick pass on the fly motion makes one man miss and gang tackles are small. Can they run the ball against the best run defense in the entire nation? This is as big as... Into the hallelujah land. Touchdown, Bulldog. Every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. Leaves it with the back. And he'll pick up tackles. They're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. Get, get him to the ground for a minimum game. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Quick strike complete. Put it right on it on first and goal. Out of the shotgun on third down. And he's got it. Touchdown, Oklahoma! He wants to throw. Pressure coming. And try to get off that third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. Got room on the return. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. Defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. It's so nice to be an offense on second down in short yardage situations. Why? I can take shots if I want to. I can just act like I'm going to run to try to get the first down, take a deep shot down the field. I can run the football. The whole playbook is open to my disposal. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown sooner. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing. And the defense gets to the quarterback. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. Two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great atmosphere today in Starkville. Two quarters of both sides feeling each other out. And it's likely to come down to which offense can find a way to generate some big plays. Adjustments will be a part of it. Maybe it's time these typically conservative play callers open up the playbook. Nothing crazy, but a calculated risk here and there to try to gain an edge in what's been a stalemate. 
And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Davis Wade Stadium. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. And how? Scanning the field, it's Shaw. He wants to take the top off. It's complete! And he will score! Touchdown, Oklahoma! We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. This has got to be disappointing if you're the offense, guys. You were expecting to have a lot of success running the ball, especially against this defense, which has struggled so much this season, but just nothing doing. They have... And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Third down, or else they are really in trouble. Unloads to the wideout. He's got him. And they'll... Really well, but... If you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Well, this defense has been dominating their opponent all game long. And I think you're really seeing the fruits of their labor on the recruiting trail. They have got some dudes up front, out of high school, in the portal, and those guys are just wreaking havoc on this offensive line. Lock at halftime, and now they are really ratcheting up the pressure, David. And I tell you what, this offense doesn't have to change a thing, Palmer. They've done what they want in the first half and starting off the second half in the same fashion. And I like how they're letting different guys get involved, too. They've got so many different playmakers all over the field. He leaves it with his back. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set. Of Going for it all. Touchdown Sooners. And the beatdown has ensued. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. At least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. They are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like... And he's going up top. And he makes the catch inside the 10. Zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring him. So you know the defense is going to be king. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And the route is on. This needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not... Brings it down on the right side. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. That big play flipped the field. Now they go to work from just outside the red zone. Hand off from the gun. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and beat this ball, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. Right back to the well. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Production, but listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying to find things to build off of. Maybe that's something they can point to as they get ready for their next opponent of things they did right and things that they got to do more consistently moving forward. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. He's going for a big play downfield. They'll run play action. Throws to the wideout. On top five defenses stopping the run. And you know at this area of the field, it's really tough to throw it. Let's see who the more physical side is. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. 
He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Mississippi State. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. Mississippi State, 28. They're on it. They recover the onside kick, and they get it right back. The Mississippi State offense headed back to the field to go to work. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they... And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got a man in the middle. Understanding to stay home, play sound. No matter who gets the football, we're going to run to the football hard. Touchdown, Mississippi State! We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys. Will... You're finding yards. It's a positive run, but you're not going out of bounds. Really well done. Strikes the blow. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown Sooners. They give themselves just a little more cushion as they close in on extending this winning run. You know, this offense knew coming into the season, it was so important for this guy to stay healthy. They needed him week in, week out, because he plays at such a high level, and he's showing it here. That last carry was his 10th rushing touchdown of the season. Starts from their own 25-yard line. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Fires and picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Ready to fire from the pistol. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. And he's... They'll leave it with him. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And the pummeling has started. It's pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, David. Jimmy's and the Joe's, they just, they're just not as good as the opponent. And, and as an athlete, it sometimes hits you in the face, and it stinks, but you're not good enough. And today, they were not good enough. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to flush this down the toilet, not remember it, forget it, move on to the next game. Maybe something right here I can create positive that carries over to practice and maybe next week. He's going to pass. And the quarterback runs out of time, and down he goes at the 38. This offense. He's looking to throw. Fires deep toward the end zone. And the pass goes incomplete, looking to make things look a little tighter on the scoreboard, but that's going to do it. Plenty of fireworks in this one. A lot of points. They always talk about having the chalk last, and it seemed like whoever was on offense had the last lap. It's amazing how much offense has been just boomed in college football. So good, so many ways to hurt you. And you saw both of these offenses put on a show today, Jess. Dave, we talked to both of these coaching staffs, and their defensive coordinators were losing sleep all week. They knew this was going to be a tough task ahead of them. So much speed, so much firepower on both of these offenses. And man, we saw that here today. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, Dave Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.